Hello everybody welcome to this Windows 2000 challenge video. Now this is a Dell Optiplex SX280. Now I bought that op the dimension, sorry, the dimension 8100 and it's got a problem which I believe to be the RAM which I will show later on. But this is the computer we'll be using. It's the Optiplex I bought a couple of weeks ago. It's got Windows XP on it at the moment, but it has the 2000 drivers, I've just discovered. So, we'll have a go with this one. I'll open it up for you, so we can see inside. It's quite hard to... Hang on, I'll, put the... I'll pause the camera and we'll take a look inside. Alright, now we're inside. There is a gigabyte of... DDR RAM, I believe. Actually, it might be DDR2. I don't quite know. Um, this is where the heatsink is for the Intel Pentium 4. There's the, to the two fans, sorry. That's the outlet. That's the inlet. Let's put that back on. There is an 80 gigabyte Western Digital Drive. I will be putting a 500 gig um, Seagate drive in it because this install of XP is very stable. It's the one that came with it. I'll check the RAM now. By the way, the hard drives are SATA hard drives. Okay. Five hundred and twelve megabytes of DDR2 RAM. And there is two sticks making this one gigabyte. These, I believe, these came with 512. Okay, so I'll fire up this so that we can download Windows 2000 and put it onto a disk, and then we'll change over the hard drive. So I will see you when I've changed this with the Power Mac. Okay, I've plugged it into where the power mic used to be. Let's give it its first boot. Oops, live on camera. It's Windows XP Pro. My Apple keyboard. Hope it works. My external hard drive's kicked in. Is Vamac? It's a bit warm. It's been on for about a week. Windows is starting up. And just as I guessed, I got no mouse. Hey. Did I even plug the mouse? It's going through the keyboard. Which I think I've con yeah, I've connected. No input. Okay, hang on a minute. Just as I turn the camera off, I've got mouse. So, let's log it in. Now, if you see lines going over the screen, just ignore it. This computer doesn't get on with this monitor, so I will be getting. One, two, um, move, work alongside it. Okay. So I need to go onto a site to get Windows 2000 and put it onto disk. So I will be back with you when I've done that. Okay, we're going to take out this hard drive now and put in the other one. I'm going to have to 
install something else on here to install to get the Windows 2000 ISO because I stupidly in the middle of the download changed the screen refresh rate to see if I could get the screen to stop flickering and I've got it on a setting which the monitor doesn't recognise and I can't get it to go back so I'm going to have to install an operating system without any drivers just so I can get some something on the screen so when I've put the hard drive in I'll be back with you alright I'm getting ready to install Windows 2000 Professional while watching a Lock and Home Live broadcast on the laptop I finally got it to go after trying on a couple of machines to burn the disk so let's get this going Oh, it's looking for my external hard drive. It is the professional edition. It's still there. I had to change the monitor because the other one just didn't get on with this desktop. But I will try and get old for used monitor that's bigger than this. I have this problem if I try to install XP and the external hard drives on. See the lights flashing. Two terabyte drive. Hopefully Windows 2000 will recognize it. There's a 500 gig in internal. So I will be back here when it's finally installed and we are on the desktop. The next part will be installing the drivers. Trying to get the tour to go. There we go. No matter where you are working, your computer will be easier to use and easier to manage because Microsoft Windows 2000 Professional is more compatible and more powerful than any workstation you've used before. It's just easier now to get things done. Microsoft Windows 2000 Professional makes it easier to work with files, find information, personalize your computing environment, work on the web, and work remotely. Let's try more powerful. Windows 2000 Professional provides industrial strength reliability, the highest level of security, and powerful performance for all your computing needs. Oh, let's have a look at security. I want to be safe. Whether you are working for a very small business or a global enterprise, the new security features in Windows 2000 provide you with a secure file system, improved ways to share local resources, support for new authentication technologies, and a new tool for setting security. Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching this video so far. This is the last clip of today. The machine is still running, as we can see. And I've been slowly installing some software. It recognizes my ter two terabyte drive. And I got a request to oh, focus about Opera and I'll put their username in the description or a link to their channel and I'll put a link to this YouTuber's channel as well just to show you uh, not you know summer of 2012 summer of 2011 uh, I think even summer of 2010 as well I think that's when I got this camera or something um, you know the summer came and the videos just flowed they really really started gushing out of the channel um, why didn't that happen this summer? Well, YouTube works fine. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you probably tomorrow when I start this challenge. Thanks for watching.